What is going on guys, it's Tommy Gaming HD here and welcome to this Harry Kane Team of the Season play review. The 93 rated English striker who plays for Tottenham Hotspur. Now he has 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, high high work rates and cost me 510,000 coins. Now the like target for this video is 20 likes so if you could smash that like button right now it would very much appreciate it. Also if you want to check out my channel there is 4 other Team of the Season from this week uh, reviews out on this channel so go and check those out if you want to check those out. Uh, let's move on to his base card stats. He has 83 pace, 95 shot, 86 passing, 92 dribbling, 55 defending and 91 physical stats. On screen are his in-game stats. I'll put a link to the so you can check those out in more detail and compare them to his other cards. Uh, the stats that I picked out for his in-games was his 99 attack and positioning, 98 reactions, 99 finishing, 99 head and accuracy and 93 shot power. Now before we get on to his positives and negatives, we'll look at the team we've got him in. Now if you've seen the review just before with Deli Alley, you'll see that he's in the team with Deli Alley. Um, I did change up the midfield because it seemed quite weak, so instead of having David Silva and Herrera, we changed it up and had uh, De Bruyne and also Yaya Torre and it seemed to make it more solid and we scored more goals as a result. But um, before we uh, get on to his positives and negatives, I want to put a disclaimer out. These, this review, I was a bit disappointed with Harry Kane, to be honest. Um, I know some of you will be coming here hoping to hear how good he was, but for me, he didn't seem as good as I expected. Now, I don't know whether that's because I expect him to be amazing, because I've used his other cards and I really did enjoy them, but these one, this card just didn't get on with me. But it might be just the way that I play FIFA, and for you, he might be the best striker in the world, so don't have a go at me for that. Um, the positives for me, his ability to hold up the ball is a very strong and physical character. Um, he can hold up the ball well, and when you, I was working with the two striker formation, he seemed to set up Martial most of the time. I think Martial scored a lot more goals than Harry Kane did, but that's just because Harry Kane held the ball and Martial had the pace to go through and score the goals. Um, his dribbling is very good when you get him on the ball, and he does have a chance to weave in and out of defenders. He is very good at his dribbling ability, and that is something that I did like about the card. Um, his attacking positioning, you can see a couple of clips where he's beating the offside trap, and he's uh, creating himself that bit of space, movement that creates himself a goal. Um, his passing is also spot on. For me, I felt that his passing was crucial to some goals, and quite a few um, got quite a few assists. Uh, but obviously I wanted to get the goals in the clips. But uh, like I said, him and Martial seem to link up quite well. As you can see here, his dribbling is very good in uh, certain areas. Um, the negative for me, at times he felt very clumsy. Now, the ball had come to his feet and sometimes he'd lose the ball or he had the chance to take it around a defender and he just seemed slow to react. And even though his reactions in 98, he just seemed a bit slow for me. So maybe it's just the way that I play the game again and it's just nothing to do with the player himself. But uh, yeah, also his, uh, his pace is something that um, worried me about the card. If his pace was five or six more, he'd be a lot, a lot better. Um, also, the, the fact that he doesn't have three-star weak foot, uh, sorry, three-star skill moves. If, if he had four, he'd be a lot better as well. So overall, I gave him a six out of 10 for price. I think there's much better team of the seasons on the market. Lukaku and uh, Jamie Vardy are a lot better than this card. At 9.5 out of 10 for positioning, 7 out of 10 for hybrid ability, same with the other English cards, 7 out of 10 for player impact, 8 out of 10 for enjoyment, and 7.5 out of 10 for all four rating. So I did enjoy the card, but like I said, Lukaku for me was a lot better, and Jamie Vardy seemed to score a lot more goals than uh, Harry Kane did. Unfortunately, I couldn't put them both up front together, which would be quite good, but unfortunately, I didn't have the coins. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, 